Hi, this is a quick video just demonstrating the basic for Android program. Uh, I will be doing a series of tutorials on this soon uh, as a beginner series as I did before years ago with the Blitz Basic programming language. Uh, I'll be doing a series of tutorials on this based on how you can write games using this program um, as well as basic applications like level editors or whatever else is you may need for your games. Um, and maybe things like wallpapers and stuff like that for your Android phone. Um, just showing you the basic program then, um, you have a IDE here, the Integrated Development Environment. I've just got a simple program loaded here. There is a beginner's guide available on the website where they, where they uh, have the forum for the software, on, for the company who make the software. And this is the first program that you, that you actually design. Uh, if I just show you the designer for this, there's several buttons with a result um, button you can click on and some comments button very similar to if you're doing visual basic programming um, with your layout now the clever thing is if I have an Android emulator running alongside this the emulator will actually show me what the program will look like when it's actually running so I can click on a button in the middle there resize the button drag it around on the screen and I'll see it on the actual device screen well, how it will actually look when it's running on the phone. You can also just click on the actual thing on the device itself and move the buttons around on the actual device directly, resize them, change them around, do what you like. So if I then save that off, close the designer and then run my application, what it will do is it will interface with the emulator as if it's a real phone and this will work this will also work if you have a real phone connected wirelessly to your um, network at home as well. It will treat the real phone the same way as it does the emulator here. So it will install the application directly on the phone. This will be something I'll demonstrate in a second video. So you can see here it's installing the file to the device. So if I open the device, you'll see here it's now running the program. So if I enter a result, let's say I enter a wrong result, click OK. Wrong result entered. OK, so let's enter the correct result. Let's stop being so thick and enter the correct result. You can tell it's getting late for me. Um, so you can see the program is running normally here. And this is just a normal Android 4.03 phone running on the emulator. So if I switch to the home screen, you'll see I've got a normal home screen here. I can switch to my applications. You see, I've just got normal applications running on here, just like a normal Android phone. So, all the other apps run normally as well. So, I can get to the calculator, say, and that will just run normally. Go home. I can just treat it like a normal phone, drag my widgets around. This is just in case you've never seen the emulator before. Um, and you can see there the B4A designer, that's the program that actually interfaces with uh, Basic for Android when I'm designing my application. So you can see if I just put them both on the screen at the same time and open the designer, you'll see the phone will flick to using the actual designer here. So I can line up my comments box a bit better, change the shape, do what I, do what I like with it. So it's a very, very easy way of designing screens for your Android uh, applications. And look out soon for the beginner series, which I'll start soon. And if you check out my blog, which there's a post, which there's a link to on this listing, you can get 30% off this if you buy it via the link on my blog um, using my blog username, which is Andy McAdam, or one word, as a coupon code. That will get you 30% off. So if you visit the blog and keep an eye on that for updates for further videos on using this program, as well as on my YouTube channel. And hopefully within a few months from now, there'll be a full series on how to write games. Uh, I will actually be converting a couple of games across from PC that I've done in Blitz Basic onto Android. So I'll do some videos on how, how I actually convert them across using Basic for Android, which so far I've found is by far the easiest programming language for Android. It's much, much simpler than learning Java. And you can get a program going within two minutes of starting a new program. You know, it really is very, very, very good and very, very fast way of writing applications. Okay, so look out for new videos soon and I'll see you then.